myself act. <laughs> Jennifer, we started two hours ago. We've edited half the show already. Besides, you've never been interested in the editing process. In fact, you've never even been in this room before. Oh, drag, I've been neglecting you. Look, don't you think that would be a good place for my close-up? Hmm? Let's see. Pull up 1522 on the time code. Ah! Get that off the monitor! I, I can't look at that! Well, why the freak out? Then you saw it too. I am a freak. What does that have to do with your close-up? Look, it's there as plain as day. Pull it up again, Drag. No, don't! I can't bear it! Okay, okay. Here's a shot. <laughs> I don't see anything. Look, it's there, right to the left of my eye. <sighs> I don't see anything, don't except maybe a wrinkle or two. Two! You see two wrinkles. Mm -hmm. It's worse than I thought. All this drama for a wrinkle? Oh, get real. Look, the wrinkle is real. We need to get fake. Take out that wrinkle. I can't take it out, it's on the tape. Look, Jennifer, nobody's going to see that wrinkle. Besides, Mrs. Mecklenburger needs a few wrinkles. Remember, she's got two kids. And she's no spring chicken either. Drag. And she's like 50 or something like that. Drag. I mean, she's a senior citizen. Drag. Drag. Oh, Drag. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Was I being insensitive? Trish Mecklenburger is no senior citizen. She's young and beautiful, and I'm sure she had her children very early, and she's, she's hot. That's what she is, she's hot. And I cannot play hot with that wrinkle. Jennifer, mm. there are plenty of women with wrinkles who are still pretty hot. Uh, isn't uh, Raquel Welch over 60? Besides, in order to get rid of that wrinkle, we're gonna have to reshoot the entire thing with lots of makeup and different lighting. Okay, fine, get it rescheduled. Better get make go. We are not going to reshoot this scene just to hide a wrinkle. I'm going to go over your head to Brady. Good luck, he's out of town. Then I will speak with Dennis. He is the station manager. That's a great idea. Go speak with Dennis, he's your man. Hmm. I thought you liked Dennis. I like finishing this show more. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 give me a chance. Dennis. Dennis, Dennis, I need to talk to you. And let that be a lesson to you. Dennis, I had no idea you could be so forceful. Well, sometimes you just have to uh, be tough. Oh, well, good, because I need you to be tough for someone on my behalf. I can do that. Um, why? We need to reshoot a scene, and Anne says no. Anne? You want me to be tough with Anne? Is that a problem? Well, she hits me with a clipboard. Brady's not afraid of Anne. Who said I was afraid of Anne? I, I'm just being respectful. I mean, Anne is the director after all. Dennis, look me in the eye. I, I, I am looking at you. I mean, particularly this eye. Closer. Get close. Jennifer, I, I am fond of you, but I, I company. You're just trying to make me feel better. I'm talking about the wrinkle. And don't lie to me and say that you can't see it. Well, okay then. Uh, there's a couple around your mouth too. <gasps> My mouth too? This is precisely why we need to reshoot. Uh, no, Jennifer, look, you're still a beautiful woman. I, I mean, it's, it's hardly noticeable. And besides, it's just natural aging. I refuse to age, especially on camera. Dennis, talk to Rick and just see if he can do some sort of delicate relighting. But I... Oh! I knew you'd see it my way. Now, I have Botox tomorrow, so we can shoot on Wednesday. Oh, Ta-ta! No, wait, wait, we, we can't wait. Uh, how do I get into this?
Hey, Rick, I have a lighting question I need to. What are you doing with a colander on your head? I'm conducting an experiment. See, I'm kind of an inventor on the side. An inventor? Yeah. What have you invented? Well, nothing really, but but this one is really big. Can you guess what it is? Uh, brain strainer? Oh, no, no, no. Don't don't strain your brain. Just guess. Uh, guess. I, I don't know. Never mind. What is it? It's a time machine. <laughs> My next guess. No, I know. It sounds kind of crazy, but really, if you think about it, time is just a dimension of light. You know, and you know I know about lighting, right? No, yeah, that's why I came here. So, this is how it works, right? What it does is, is it speeds up light beyond the speed of light, you know? Beyond the speed of light? Yeah. I thought that was impossible. Well, theoretically speaking, yes, but if we can go faster than the speed of light on a molecular level, then we can transcend time. Molecular? Did you even go to college? Uh, yeah. Uh, besides the parties? No. But I was just in an academic atmosphere, you know, and that's what's... Okay, here, just let me show you how it works, all right? I'm just going to plug this... Ow! 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 That hurt! That hurt. Oh. Okay, it just, it just needs a little adjusting. A um, little adjusting. Rick, anyway, can, can we just talk about lighting this scene? Yeah. It's for Jennifer. Yep. Uh, oh, Jennifer? Yeah, yeah, I would do anything for Jennifer. You know. Good. Let's go talk to Anne. Okay. No, Dennis. But I didn't ask you anything. You're going to ask me if we can reshoot a scene for Jennifer because she has a wrinkle, right? Yes. And the answer is no. That was spooky. Why are you here? She's a goddess. <laughs> Jennifer! <laughs> <coughs> well, okay. Um, look, and wouldn't it be better if we just reshoot instead of dealing with all the Jennifer stuff? What would be better is if you had told her no like you should have. What would be even better if I had a little quiet to edit this episode? Hey, you know, what would be even more and more better would be if Superman were real. <laughs> Jennifer's concerned about getting older, and I don't blame her. It is kind of scary to think about our senior years. I got an idea. Oh, I'm with you. Okay. We need to come up with another solution. Okay, but I'm not drinking anything. <laughs> That can't be good. <laughs> I can't believe you talked me into this. No, but you can solve this whole problem by just going back in time to before we shot the scene originally. And redo the lighting. Well, I was thinking of Jennifer having plastic surgery, but your idea works too. Oh, this is crazy. This thing can't possibly work. No, 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 wait, it does. Trust me, I, I went into the future yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, isn't that the yeah. past? Yeah. Well, technically, yeah. But, so far, I can only go one hour into the future. One hour? Yeah. See, look, just set this dial here. This is right to the future, and then hit this switch, and then BAM! <laughs> you know, the machine, well, knocks you out. But, 60 minutes later, you wake up, one hour into the future. Oh, I can't even believe I'm having this conversation. No, we can have it over and over again. Just flip that switch, and then we just go... Sorry, I gotta go. My laundry's done, but... Ridiculous. Time machines. I wonder. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> <laughs> You've told us you want to know more about county government, so the Public Service and Information Department makes it easy and available. Our information portal called forcitizenhelp.com is your window to the latest news from the county. While you're there, click on Notify Me to have news, board agendas, and other documents emailed directly to you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to... Plus, we bring you live board meetings and TV reports on the government channel and print pieces like the annual State of the County report. You want to know, we're here to help. Go to forcitizenhelp.com for more. You told us you want to know more about county government, so we bring you Mecklenburg at the Mall at Eastland Mall, Saturday, April 29th. It's a chance for county departments to show off their programs and services. As always, the health department will be on hand doing health screenings and immunizations. Park and Rec will amaze you with a list of recreation services it offers, and you can catch up on some classic episodes of the Mecklenburgers. Saturday, April 29th from 11 to 3 at Eastland Mall. Mecklenburg at the Mall, taking government to the people. Mecklenburg County, you can reap the bounty of a park built just for you. G -g -g Grayson. Forget supermarket parking lots, forget being hassled by the cops. G -g -g Grayson. 
Don't forget your helmet, don't forget your pads, because playing in the bowl can take its toll. It's 10 feet deep, the banks are steep, the rails and ledges mighty sweet. g g g Grayson, wicked. <laughs> hey, Grandpa. What happened to Dennis? Oh, very funny. That thing of yours nearly killed me. I'm all stiff and sore, and I got a killer headache. But it worked, didn't it? What are you talking about? You're old. Yeah, look. Huh? Yeah, look. You went to the future. You must be like uh, 50 years old. Oh, my gosh. My hair is white. But your breath's still minty fresh. I, I, I don't understand. How, how come I've aged, but you're still the same? Oh, I forgot to tell you. I'm not human. I'm from another planet, yeah. so I can, like, change myself in any form I want. Yeah, well, that would explain a lot. Look, I'll change myself into a monster. <laughs> I like icy, creamy I. <laughs> what the? Oh, oh, must have been a day, Mayor. Oh, I'm not old. What a relief. Uh, what's wrong? Your stupid invention shocked me. Gave me quite a scare, but I think I'm okay. Well, welcome to the future. What are you talking about? Oh, Rick, <clears throat> there you are. Uh, listen, we're gonna be late for the theater. I tell you what, I'll meet you outside of the ladies' room. I just need to freshen my visage. Oh, will you take as much time as you want to, darling? I'll meet you there in half a sec. What is going on, Rick? I mean, I mean, since when are you and Jennifer an item? And <clears throat> and what's with the gray and well, the... Well, 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 just a second. See, Jennifer always thought that I was too immature for her, but here in the future, I'm a distinguished gentleman. See, getting older has its advantages. Uh, well, what do you mean, here in the future? Uh, listen, uh, you'll see. I gotta go. I gotta catch up with my lady. My lady? I told her there is no way that I'm going out with him. Yeah. Hi, Dennis. You look very healthy today. Yeah, did you get your hair dyed or something? Do I know you two? Hello, it's us, Amy and Emma. But Amy and Emma are just little kids. You guys are like teenagers. He doesn't recognize us. Poor guy. Oh, well, you know what they say. You can paint the snow on the roof, but that doesn't fix the termites in the attic. Who says that? I think it was Oprah. Oh. Am I dreaming? What's going on here? Ow! I guess not. So I was driving into work this morning when I was almost in a wreck. Good thing my reflexes are still sharp from working out. Muffin? No, not with your hands on okay, it. Okay, okay. Is it brand? Mm -mm. Oh, well. I, uh, I had to give up driving altogether. Really? But I live next to the light rail, so I can still get around. No way I can give up driving. Well, enough is within walking distance to my house. I have to go on the bus just to go to the grocery store. Oh, uh, the grocery store. I had to shop all weekend just to stock up on enough food for Miss mm. McGillicuddy. Mm. Juice? Prune? Cranberry. Not close enough. You still take care of her? Well, she has no family and she really can't get out. She, her mind is still sharp as a tack. She just needs somebody to help her clean and make sure she's eating right. Why do we still call her she? <laughs> <laughs> and who's taking care of you? I wish I did have some support. I'm just trying to make sure she can stay in her home as long as she can, you know, sort of aging in place. Well, I'm not gonna have that problem when it comes time for me to move into a different home. In fact, I'm looking at a new development where it has shopping and a park mm -hmm. and a community center mm -hmm. all within walking distance. Oh, yes, hi guys. it does. Hey. Whoa, what, what happened? Uh, are you doing makeup? Makeup? Us? What about you with all that black in your head? Yeah, at least we're going au natural. Are, are we talking about underwear again? Okay, fellas, that's my cue to get these tapes up to master control. Well, wait, I, I need to talk to you about Rick. He's acting strange. Well, walk with me then. In fact, why don't you carry this? Okay. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Well, what is it? Is it your back again? Yeah. Oh, oh. oh he needs to lie down. Take him over to the sofa. Oh, oh. oh careful now. Ah. Yeah. 
just breathe in. Yo. Now, is it worse than the last time? Oh, oh, last time? What last time? Oh. Just stay there. I'll get the bin game. I'll call your doctor. Wait, wait, what's going on? This has never happened before. Oh, oh, I, I, I'm sure I'll be better tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, 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 hey, I guess the old, the old time travel's catching up with you, huh? What's happening to me? Listen, you can't fight for all the time, Dennis, or the laws of physics. Huh? <laughs> listen, listen, there's a... <clears throat> well, look, it, there can't be two of you in one place at one time. So when you zapped into the future, your old self, your younger self, replaced your old self that was here before. <laughs> See, whoa, whoa. And for some reason, time travel seems to speed up the aging process. I learned that the hard way. The first time I was here, I, I aged so quickly that I lost my hearing. Uh, huh? But look at me now. Hey, hey, look, look. See, I'm, I'm my old self. But how? Exercise, Dennis. This isn't your grandfather's future. Okay, being a senior citizen these days doesn't necessarily mean being inactive. You still exercise? Yeah, it, it, it keeps me, um, it keeps me feeling healthy. Oh. You know, plus it keeps Jennifer interested. You know, oh. at least compared to you, uh, <clears throat> you younger guys. Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, Jennifer, how does she look so youthful? Yeah, well, she, whoa, 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 she, uh, she keeps care of herself, too. She does, she takes care of herself, and then there's the surgery. <laughs> oh, you don't mean. Yeah, artificial hips, she's got two hips, two knees, two ankles, and lips, and she has her skin ironed each week. Oh. Yeah. Look, this is what she would look like if she didn't have all that work done. Holy crap, moly! <laughs> I know, whoa, whoa. Hey, listen, uh, Drac and I, we pump iron at lunch, so you might want to join us, you know? It will keep you looking spry for your father. My father? Oh, yeah, you don't know. Uh, Mr. Lewis, your father's in a, in a nursing home. Oh, oh, nursing home. Is he okay? Yeah, yeah ab absolutely, absolutely. Look, he's got a girlfriend and everything. He's fine. And you go visit him every day, and you, you take a, a car ride with him, and you count his money. You're a good son, Dennis. Can you take me to him? Well, sure, but I, it'll have to be on a rain check. See, I gotta go back in time because I left my iron on. <laughs> oh, oh, you can go back? Yeah. Oh, can, can I go with you? I'm oh. not ready for this future. <sighs> sure, sure, but let's, let's go, come on. Okay. All right, come, oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Okay. All right, look, you gotta hurry up because your warranty's about to expire, okay? Okay, I'm coming. Come on, come okay. on, one step in front of the other, let's go. I'll put it in the drive. Come on! Second gear, right, here I come. Right. Come on. Hi, I do a lot of building projects. I like what it does to the value of my home and I like the work. But sometimes I get stumped about what the building code requires or whether I need a permit for a shed or a deck. It's nice to know the answers are just a phone call away. 704-432-RTEC. Our tech is the Residential Technical Answer Center, a service of Mecklenburg County. I don't need all the answers, I just need the number, 704-432-RTEC. I just want to breathe, is that too much to ask? Hey, here you, Jeff. An eight-hour shift is like smoking a whole pack. Yeah, it's hard enough singing in this. But secondhand smoke can also cause lung cancer and heart disease. And no amount of ventilation can remove all the toxic chemicals from the air. Secondhand smoke should not be a job requirement for anyone. Everyone deserves a safe and smoke-free workplace. For more information on smoke-free air or for a list of smoke-free restaurants in Charlotte, log on to goodforatmosphere.com. At the end of a quiet street near Uptown Charlotte, connected to Irwin Avenue Elementary School, there's a plain concrete block building. What goes on inside this building? could change your life. It's Race Flash Planet featuring the Blue Comet, the Orbiter, the Vortex, and Saturation Station. Charlotte Magazine says it's the best place in town to have a birthday party, plus a fitness center for moms and dads. But mainly, it's full of wet, smiling kids. Way cool. Way cool. <laughs> Are we on the same planet? you staying strong well just because i'm older doesn't mean i've stopped working out i'm running a marathon next month <laughs> <laughs> i know what you mean mm -hmm. i walk every day on the greenway it's Ooh. great i can go from my house to the park and shopping or the movies <laughs> i think i'm more active now than when i was younger why are you still working you could have retired years ago well first of all working keeps my mind sharp I'm still productive. 
I mean, I work here during the first half of the day, then I volunteer in the afternoon. Plus, where are you going to find somebody doing this job that I do? <laughs> yeah, who would have thought that when the 50-something baby boomers reach retirement age, they'd have a tough time finding all the folks to fill all the jobs? Why well, you think Rick is still working here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Where were we here? We were right over here, I think. Oh. It's about time, dude. <laughs> Get it? Time? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm convinced. I'm old and it's no fun. Oh, man, you got it all wrong, Dennis. Yes, it's true that they're senior citizens who are frail and living in poverty just like in our time, but people in this time, they figured out something different, something important. Yeah, like what? That being a, a senior boomer is going to redefine what it is to be a senior, just like they redefine their generation as teenagers and adults. Yeah. So, uh, what? Like all seniors are going to be hippies? Yeah, I wish. <laughs> but think about it. Boomers have more money. They work out like fiends. They, they oh. want to travel and shop and eat out. And, mm. you know, they want their services convenient. And yeah. if they can't drive anymore, then they want easy public transportation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but they're still old. Yeah. It's a badge of honor, man. They help each other out. Badge of honor. Yeah. Now, come on, come on, let's go. <laughs> OK. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Leave that right there. That's good. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How is Miss McGillicuddy today? Well, I think I found some help for her. Oh, good. And for me. Good. The county's Department of Social Services has a nutrition program that provides oh, cool. meals for senior citizens. Really? And they deliver to homebound seniors. Cool. Now how'd you get that gig? You remember that Mecklenburgers episode we did some years ago? about the status of seniors report. It rings a bell, mm-hmm. Anyway, I saw it on WTVI Classics, mm -hmm. and they were talking about this service called Just One Call. Mm -hmm. You call it to find help for seniors and uh, adults with disabilities. I remember that, and they could hook you up with county services, right? Not just county services, they have a huge database and train counselors that help figure out what you need depending on your circumstances. And I, if I remember correctly, then give you support as a caregiver, right? I hope so. That'd be great. <laughs> well, let's finish editing this episode before we get old for real. <laughs> yeah, you know, what just... is it that you wanted again? I uh, can't yeah, remember. You have to tell me. You know, I got to tell you. I got a memory of a goldfish girl. 13. I don't know. 13. 13. Okay, got it. I got I'm it. 13. 13. You All right, well, let me get the years, right. So, we need to set this to 2006, right? Hey! Hey! Maybe we could go back before 2006, eh, back before my brother Jerry died. Find out what happened, no, huh? Sorry, sorry. You, you can only go back to the exact moment that you left. So. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> maybe I'm already there and I'm dreaming. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, not, not, maybe not. Uh, just hook me up and get me out of here. <clears throat> As you wish. <laughs> Look, I'll be right behind you. <laughs> What's going on, dude? It worked. I'm back. Rick, you're back. Back? I, I, I was just gone like 10 minutes. I just had to move my wet clothes to the dryer. No, no, the thing. It, it worked. We all went into the future. We were older. All except Jennifer. Oh, didn't I hear someone mention my name? Yeah, Jennifer, you were there too. And still beautiful as ever. Oh, do tell, Dennis. No, really. Do tell. <laughs> and the kids were there. And now they're kids again. Yeah, well, you're still old. Did you bump your head? Who bumped their head? And you two were there, uh, only older. Uh, Drac was worried about not being able to drive anymore. Then I just got a new Lexus. <laughs> and you were taking care of Miss McGillicuddy, but she needed some help. What are you talking about, Dennis? Uh, maybe you should get some rest, dear. That thing has like 300 volts. No, I I'm telling you, it, it worked. I I we went into the future. We were all there. We were older, all senior citizens, except it was different than now. Different. Yeah, yeah, I, we were all older, but we were more active. You know, working and playing and taking care of each other. Oh, sounds like the future as a senior could be fun. It can be, if you get ready for it. Of course, it is good to be home. I mean, it's true. There is no place like home. Dennis, you sure can come up with some doozies. Come on, Toto. Let's go finish the editing. <laughs> Wait, wait, Rick. You, you believe me, don't you? It, the time machine worked. We went into the future. Yeah. Sure, Dennis, I believe you. Sure. No, no, wait! 
It did happen. I saw the future. It, the thing shocked me, and then I woke up, and then I wanted to play shuffleboard. Seriously. Hi, I'm Suzanne Stevens of the Mecklenburgers. Mecklenburg County's senior population is projected to triple over the next 27 years, from about 80,000 people to more than 225,000. This is going to create some dramatic challenges for individuals and for our community. Even now, 80% of those 65 years and older are living in poverty. More than 40% of seniors are considered frail or at risk because they have trouble performing basic tasks. These are only a sample of the issues and challenges that face Mecklenburg County, our region, and the country. To learn more or get involved, go to statusofseniors.charmec.org. To find out what services are available to seniors, adults with disabilities, and caregivers, phone Just One Call at 704-432-1111 or go online at www.justonecall.org.